Hey everyone, welcome back to Alchemy with Zero Phase. This is Eric, and this is going to be more of a reaction video than anything. Um, I saw some of the videos drop today about OpenAI's Sora model, their their <laughs> text animation uh, model that I guess they're working on right now, and I cannot believe that things have moved along this fast. So. I, I think it was several months ago I was talking to my brothers. We talk about this stuff a lot. Um, and some of my friends, and I was telling them, look, you know, they, they've got AI text-to-video uh, stuff right now. But, you know, and, and but you, the problem is, you know, what we've been dealing with is like some of the stable diffusion stuff and, and uh, some of these other sites that do online animations or whatever. And they're short clips. You know, they're short. They're, they struggle with uh, temporal consistency um any kind of consistency honestly and that's kind of what the industry was expecting for a long time and then suddenly bam open ai hits us square in the jaw with this and i don't, i don't even know what to say to this this is this is uh, <laughs> how does the ai know how to do things so consistently i mean I, you know i'm sure they're going to release all sorts of technical papers you know uh, on on how they do this how they achieve this but to to just be able to describe something in a simple tech you know lo a line of text here you know I, it's a little longer than that it's just that right there that's what described this whole scene and what you're seeing is the camera movement keeping her focused in the center her movements are very normal there, you know, I mean, if you look closely, you'll notice some some of the normal AI jankiness that you would see in other times. But here's a couple things with this that really stand out to me, like in this particular video. Um, you come back here and you see this person over here. A lot of the times when you lose track of somebody, in, an object or whatever, in AI, you'll see how it goes behind her there and then comes back. That person's still there. Most of the time, the AI would have forgotten all about that. I don't, I don't know how that it remembered. Um, some of these other videos are just astounding. The solidity of the background, the terrain, the textures, how they maintain their consistency. Um, like in any other AI image uh, video generator, like these tusks would be kind of all over the place doing their thing. But, uh, and another thing you'll kind of notice like, in AI, when you're generating images, when you have something vertical like this that kind of bifurcates the image, um, typically one half, you know, one side of that tusk would be one image, the other side would be almost another image. Uh, those of you who worked in, in AI image generation know what I'm talking about. And the fact that it does camera cuts, <laughs> Like, this could be a scene out of a movie. I mean, I don't know what movie, but, I mean, it looks like it could be a scene out of a movie. I don't know if you'd have a movie where a guy's wearing a knitted helmet, but either case, like, you know, what I was telling my brother, I'm like, look, what you're going to see, this is several months ago, you're going to see within a year to two years, you're going to see the ability for people to go onto a service. I mean, it could be like Netflix, it could be like Amazon Prime, whatever. And they're going to introduce a new service that, that I don't even know what you call it. You call it uh, uh, extend the story or whatever. And, and, and let's say there is a, a TV series you really loved, right? And there's one particular episode that, that man, you would have really w wished you could see like an extended version of that episode or um, maybe an offshoot, you know, of that episode into a whole new series, and you're going to be able to go in there and be like, take this episode, this character. I want to know what his story arc is. You know, I want to know where he goes after this because you don't see him anywhere else in the series or whatever it is. And the AI, they'll have an interface set up through a series of questions like what kind of outcome do you want? You know, happy, sad, whatever. You're going to have a series of questions that you'd answer. And then uh, I don't know how long, depends on the processing power, but day later, two days later, you have your new episode or even series of episodes or even your new movie and now i know there's a lot more that goes into this i've talked to some people in some of the comments on on uh, uh, another youtuber's channel 
and um, they said, well, you know, in video production, there's a lot more that goes on. Obviously, there's a lot more that goes on. There's dialogue, you know, there's conversations going back and forth. There's audio, there's music. And if you're paying attention, you're looking at all the different um, fields of AI, they've got music generators now. They got voice generators now. And when you take a system like these uh, multi-agent systems that are able to cobble together, you t tell it, hey, go out and do this for me. And it's able to go out and use multiple agents to gather the information, to collate it, and to build whatever it is you're looking for. We're less than a year away from doing that, it would be my guess. I mean, I could be wrong, but I mean, good hell, look at this. I mean, this is nuts. Like this right here. You could show that to anybody and they'd be like, yeah, that's real. I mean, they would never even assume that it was not real. And to be able to do stuff like this, like, I messed with 3D modeling programs like Blender, 3D Studio Max, and Maya, and all those, those different programs, all the way back to, you know, messing around on my Atari 1040 ST with GFA Ray Tracer. But... Even even nowadays, doing something like this and making it look that good is difficult. I mean, it takes a crew of people to be able to do something like this, and they did this with a with a single prompt. I, I mean, I, uh, you know, it is astounding when you look at this. You know, I keep going back to the consistency. And, and you know this is a whole nother level above other things because, I mean, you look at this. Like, take a look at this building over here and the window panes in it, okay? There's six on top, right? It stays six. It doesn't, like, shift. You know, the, the, the framing of that window pane doesn't suddenly change. And the, the characters are all doing stuff. I mean, this is, right now I would say this is probably great for B-roll stuff. You know, cam, uh, 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 long camera pans, shots, whatever. You know, most movies you know, are not going to have a camera shot that's longer than 60 seconds. I mean, they're doing, they say that the maximum length on these is 60 seconds. And I think that that very first one, the lady walking, is about 60 seconds. Most of the other ones are under 30. But most movie, movie shots, single shots are not longer than that. You could put a whole movie together with this. If you could, if, if you're able to, assume, assuming they're going to come out with the same tools and and, and resources like you would have in Stable Diffusion, or you're able to uh, reference like a style or faces and stuff like that, which I'm, I'm absolutely positive they're going to be able to do that. They're going to have a whole industry built around this. And the, I kid you not, the, co the companies that are going to dive on this first and start their own studios around this, are they going to be the, the new Hollywood? I You know, movie stars... I don't know. You, you're gonna, they're gonna sell their faces. Essentially, you'll have to pay royalties. Okay, nobody's gonna do any real acting anymore. At least you know once this is fully incorporated. And you know, let's go through a couple more. I mean, some of these are just phenomenal. The camera movement. I mean, that looks real. It holds itself together. I mean, he, he's doing some weird stuff. But I mean, come on. How real do you expect a little figure like that dusting off the rocks or sweeping off his rocks to be? But. I mean, that's just <laughs> mind-blowing. I love this. Like, this is next level. This is this is the next stage we're looking for in, like, that, aug or that, that uh, what do you call it, the augmented reality, you know, uh, being able to have the AI. And once the hardware catches up, that's kind of what we're going to be waiting on right now is highly customized and specialized hardware that's going to be able to do this in real time. Can you imagine that? Tying into, I'm assuming an online service or whatever, at least for right now, with a VR headset that that just generates a game on the fly and allows you to walk through that environment in real time. I mean, that would just be, I mean, I played with VR for a while. I had, you know, an Oculus for a little while. I think it was Oculus. Anyway. Um, and I loved it. It was fine. You know, your head gets tired after a while, no matter how heavy it is or how light it is. But... Some of those games, like, um, uh, what was it, Half-Life game. Um, God, that was an amazing game. I played that thing all the way through. It was just so fun. That's the kind of game I like. And Disney, I'm sorry. When, you know, 
this is like first gen stuff with the, I mean, I say first gen, obviously there's AI video out there that you could call first gen. Maybe this is, we'll call this second gen, okay? And you got consistency like this with characters. I mean, look at the characters in the background. They're not even janky. I mean, they look like they're there. They've been animated, whatever. <sighs> yeah, I mean, you're going to see a lot of this in movies and videos, I think, starting as soon as they release this. I guess right now they they got their quote-unquote red team testing stuff, right? You know, for <laughs> quote-unquote safety reasons. And, you know, you know where this is going. I, I mean... Do I even have to say it? I mean, there's going to be big backers on this pushing this to go to the porn industry. You know, it's just that's where it's going to end up going for a lot. And that's going to be a big driver. That's kind of, you know, I, I, I hate to say it, but the that industry pushes a lot of things, uh, pushes the boundaries of a lot of things. Like this video right here just blew my mind. Um, this whole thing end to end is AI generated. And even the the name on the back, you know, obviously you're talking the, the particular res resolution. You can tell us it's meant to say Land Rover. It says Gandver, but or Nover or something like that. But the consistency. Look at this. I, I mean, the camera, how it follows it, and the and angles and pans and and how it knows. I guess they're designing it so that it understands just how the real world works. So that, you know, we can study, you know, real world stuff in, in whatever they're doing. Um, I'm floored. You know, I, I cannot believe what they've done. I mean, this one here was a whole nother level of blow my mind. It's a reflection. And you get people being reflected, you know, in the background here. She's holding her cell phone, you know, and, and getting a video outside the thing. I mean, it's, she's got earbuds in. Like, in one of the reflections, you can see she's got, you know, the earbuds in. And then these panning shots of these just beautiful coastal cities. <laughs> this one was interesting. AI's always had a hard time with tentacled creatures. Yeah, you know, and it's not so much the octopus in this that's the problem here necessarily. If you watch the crab, its legs get a little like morphy. They kind of come out of nowhere. They're a little bendy. Uh, the octopus, on the other hand, the only thing you notice with it is like watch the suction, watch the suction cups. They kind of slide up and down the stalks of its legs. Like that right there. But outside of that, that looks like it could have been some kind of documentary video. Um, yeah. I mean, <laughs> creating unreality. I mean, I don't know what else you'd call it. Like, this is a little interesting. Watch what happens with the cat's foot. Oh, it's got a third foot that just came up out of nowhere. <laughs> Uh, that's an AI thing, you know, number of legs, whatever you want to call it. Still fun to watch. Like, this one's absolutely solid. The water flowing, the branches, trees, the birds, the way they're moving. Nuts. And, yeah, I mean, this, this honestly could have been filmed in some parade. You know, if you look really closely, you'll see the issues with some of the legs uh, over here on the left more specifically, but... Dude, I'm so excited for this. Like, I don't know what they're going to do in the way of, like, a pay model or or, or how this is going to work. You know, they're, they're trying to make it safe for the public. But, um, you know, they'll they'll have a back-end API, I'm assuming, and, and they'll probably be a little more relaxed uh, about the the uh, the strictness of what kind of prompts you can give, out, give it. I mean, they kind of did that with the... Uh, with their GPT models in the back on an API. That's what, like with my prompt generator, you can be, you can ask some things, you can have it generate prompts around things that could be a little scandalous or grotesque, where in the normal chat GPT, you couldn't ask that. But on the back end of the API, you can do that. So that's that. I mean, wow, OpenAI. Uh, they just showed the world that... Uh, um, they're still the head dogs in this game. I mean, you know, I, I get that Google just released Gemini, and I've been kind of playing around with that too, but uh, this takes the cake. And 
<laughs> maybe I'm going to do some more reaction videos like this because I love talking about this stuff. I don't get to talk much with like my wife or whatever about this. And I know I talk with my brothers, but that's, you know, not as often as I'd like to. So I think I'm going to start doing some more of these if people like them and, and uh, love the, the content. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I think this, these are awesome. Like, this is going to be this is going to be great. World changing. This is world changing stuff, or at least, you know, industry changing stuff. So anyway, hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll talk to you later.